All right, now here are a couple of important updates received on the Samsung Galaxy phones. The first one is the Google Play system update. This is the Galaxy S24 Ultra I have got here. Let's go to the settings here and let's tap on security and privacy and here tap on updates. And as you can see, the previous update was 1st April 2025. Now let's tap on this and let's check if we have got an update here. It says restart to update your device. Now I have already downloaded the update so it is not showing the update details here. Let me go ahead and restart the device. Let's say if this is the update for the month of May or not. Now the phone has been restarted. As you can see there is a pop-up here which says allowed permissions, usage data access and notification access. It is just randomly giving me this pop-up for some reason. Let's tap on OK and let's go ahead and check out the update details. I will tap on security and privacy and tap on updates and as you can see this is the Google Play system update for the month of May 2025. I'm glad to receive this on the Galaxy S24 series because generally this is lagging by at least two months but this time in the month of June we have received the update for May. Now I have also updated the Galaxy S25 Ultra here. Let me just quickly show you this. Let's go to the settings here on the Galaxy S25 Ultra and uh, let's go to security and privacy and tap on updates and you can see here Google Play system update 1st May 2025. So the update size was almost about 80, 84 MB and this update is important every month we need to make sure we install this. And now let's take a look at the change log or what has changed with this all new update for the month of May. As you can see under account management for the auto with the updates you will get an improved car setup wizard UI. For the phone bug fixes for account management related services auto PC phone TV where uh, bug fixes for account management related services. Now this is for the Google Play services which is not only for the phone the update gets released for the auto as well as PC and other uh, devices. Let me show you the latest version of Google Play services here. Let's go to the applications and tap on Google Play services. Let's search for Google Play services here and here we go. This is the latest version which is 25. Double two dot five nine, and the update also talks about the developer services and then we have got device connectivity for the phone with this new feature you will find an updated UI for the Bluetooth device detail screen. Now these features may be available for the Pixel phones or some of the Android phones may not be applicable for all the devices and may not be applicable for the Galaxy phone. And uh, for the phone and TV uh, Google has fixed issues with device connections related services to improve your overall experience and uh, as far as health and fitness features are concerned for phone and Wear OS new developer features for Google and third-party app developers to support health and fitness related processes in their application. So this is more for developers and then comes the security and privacy bug fixes for security and privacy related services and we also have something for system management. Google has fixed issues related to system management and diagnostic services to improve your overall experience and uh, with the update new storage settings help users better understand and manage their storage. So this is probably to do with the Google account settings and under utilities for the phones users in more countries can now save their payment cards information to autofill. And as far as the Google wallet is concerned with this update digital IDs in wallet are now available in the new markets. Now these are some of the important changes or improvements which Google has mentioned which will come with this update. So make sure to update your device with the latest Google Play system update. Now let's go ahead let me just show you another update that we have recently received that's for personal data intelligence. Now let me show you this let's go to the settings and I will search for personal data intelligence here. Here we go under security and privacy we will find personal data intelligence we have got this toggle under more privacy settings tap on personal data intelligence and here you can see this is the service or this is the feature which will suggest us actions such as now brief updates, calendar events to add, messages to send based on how you use your phone. So for this personal data intelligence feature we have got an update. Let me just go ahead and tap on about personal data intelligence and tap on this eye icon, scroll down, tap on app details in store. Now you can see this is the latest version which is 7.0.06.0 and uh, 2nd June was the update but uh, I have received just about a day or two days ago and the size is about 200 MB and in the change log it says Spotify card optimization. Now basically this personal data engine helps us get the suggestions. It may be on the keyboard which provides text suggestions based on your messages. Then in messages it analyzes the text for messages you're reading and automatically provides a one-time password if necessary and it also helps add location 
if there is a location mentioned on the message and add calendar events if there is a date mentioned on the uh, on the message likewise we get some suggestions on the settings application whenever we are searching for some settings it will provide us with some suggestions and in gallery also it will give us some suggestions under modes and routines app recommendations widgets that we have on the home screen that we set will also get the recommendations for using this specific feature which is personal data intelligence application now for this we have got spotify card optimization so it doesn't clearly mention what has changed or what has improved probably this has got something to do with the spotify card maybe in a samsung music application because we have got samsung music integrated with spotify as you can see we've got this spotify tab right here we'll be able to directly access spotify from I'm here so maybe it has got something to do with this application which will uh, show us some suggested cards or maybe it is elsewhere but yeah this is what we have got this is the all new update for personal data intelligence and today i also saw a couple of uh, more updates here let's go to the galaxy store and tap on updates as you can see we have got an update for group sharing and customization services we have got the brand new versions available now 13.7.12.5 for the group sharing and we have got customization service the latest version is 3.6.51.4 so these are some of the important updates that we have received for the galaxy phones i think you guys should go ahead and update the system uh, intelligence services and also update the google play system which is very very important and if you're interested in these wallpapers that you're seeing here you can go ahead and download the volvo application there are some amazing wallpapers both free and premium you can check out the link in the description and download the app and enjoy some beautiful wallpapers that's about it that's all i want to share with you guys in this video thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye